Yeah. So is and that then, fight between um, Elon and, and Zuck actually going to happen? I think Elon is a huge believer of this idea of uh, the most entertaining outcome is the most likely. And he almost, like, there is almost the sense that there's n not a free will and the universe has a kind of deterministic gravitational field pulling towards the most fun. And he's just a player in that game. So from that perspective, I think it seems like something like that is inevitable. Mm, like, a, like a little scrap in the parking lot of uh, Facebook or something like exactly. that? Exactly. Sorry, it, meta. Yeah. But it looks like they're they're training for real and Zuck has competed, right, in mm -hmm. jiu-jitsu. So um, I think he is approaching it as a sport. Yeah. Elon is approaching it as a spectacle. And I mean, the way he talks about it, he's a huge fan of history. He talks about all the warriors that have fought throughout history. If you look, he wants to really do it at the Coliseum. And you know, the Coliseum is for 400 years. I was, there's so many, so much great writing about this. Um, I think over 400,000 people have died in the Coliseum, gladiators. So this is this historic place that sheds so much blood, so much fear, so much anticipation of battle, all of this. So he loves this kind of spectacle mm -hmm. and also the uh, the meme of it, the hilarious absurdity of it, that two tech CEOs are battling it out on sand in a place where gladiators fought to the death and then bears and lions ate prisoners as part of the execution process. Well, it's also gonna be an instance where uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk exchange bodily fluids. They bleed. There's one things about fighting, you know. I think it was in um, that book. It's a great book, uh, Fighter's Heart, mm -hmm. where he talks about you know sort of the intimacy of of sparring. I have I only rolled jujitsu with you once, but there was a period of time where I boxed, and um, which I don't recommend. Um, I got hit. I hit some guys, and I definitely got hit back. Um, I'd spar on Wednesday nights when I lived on San Diego, um, and um, you know when you spar with somebody, even if they hurt you, especially if they hurt you, you know you see that person afterwards and there's a, there's an intimacy, right? You're, ex it was, it was in that book fighter's heart where he explains, you know, you're exchanging bodily fluids with a stranger, right? And cre there's a, you're in your primitive mind. Mm -hmm. And so there's an intimacy there that, that persists. So but you go together through a process of fear, mm -hmm. anxiety, like. Yeah. When they get you, you nod. I mean, you watch somebody like catch somebody if, you know, not so much in professional fighting, but if People are sparring that they catch you, you you acknowledge that they caught you. Like, like he got me there. 